Scrambling is an outdoor sport that could best be described as a hybrid between hiking and rock climbing, as participants scramble up inclines in an effort to reach the top. Scrambling ascents are typically made without the use of ropes or any safety equipment, much like free solo rock climbing, a topic I've covered a fair few times here on my channel before. However, unlike with free solo rock climbing, the imminent risk to the participant is significantly lower, as scrambling routes are usually simple enough to ascend that they can be completed with no prior rock climbing experience and are more akin to a tough hike than rock climbing in their technical difficulty. Thus, scrambling has earned a reputation as a very beginner-friendly sport, so to speak, as the relatively low difficulty and dangers associated with scrambling make it an appealing pastime to many people that want to experience the outdoors and a taste of the triumph of making a successful ascent, and to those seeking to learn the fundamentals of mountaineering during the summertime, as scrambling during the wintertime does not exist. It's just mountaineering once snow and winter conditions become a factor in the ascent. And although scrambling is a significantly less hazardous pursuit overall than mountaineering, that does not mean that participants do not assume any risk at all, as is also true with even entry-level mountaineering as well, as mistakes do happen, which, sometimes at altitudes of hundreds of feet above the ground, could mean serious injuries, or even worse, a fatal fall. In the northwestern portion of the state of Colorado, lodged between the towns of Estes Park and Grand Lake, lies Rocky Mountain National Park, a U.S. national park known for its breathtaking mountainous scenery and for the spectacular alpine lakes dotted within it. The park is popular with visitors for the plethora of outdoor activities offered within it, as it is a local hotspot for hiking, rock climbing, and of course scrambling during the summer months, as well as mountaineering during the winter time. On the morning of July 9th, 2023, a 26-year-old woman hailing from the nearby city of Boulder, Colorado, named Bailey Mulholland, and a partner assembled at the foot of the 13,520-foot high Epsilon Peak, as the duo would be attempting an ascent of the 5-4 rated Blitzen Ridge route, which is touted locally as one of the best ridge ascents throughout the entirety of Rocky Mountain National Park. Bailey was a Boulder native and a lifelong high-level athlete, as she was an upcoming top competitor within women's ultra-distance running and was competitive even with sponsored runners in the races she ran. After competing in cross-country running in high school, upon entering into her college years as a student at the University of Colorado Boulder, Bailey began to take an interest in mountain running, and as she began to partake in these mountain runs, she naturally, in due time, began to have her interest piqued by the sport of scrambling, a natural fit for the skills and stamina that she had already been developing during her mountain runs. Bailey was a natural scrambler and soon joined up with a local Boulder, Colorado scrambling club named Satan's Minions, where she would impress the other members with her work ethic and scrambling skills and would become a regular during many of the group's scrambling outings. During her latter college years, Bailey also began to take an interest in sport climbing, where she quickly garnered a positive reputation within the local rock climbing community for her enthusiasm and will to improve, and upon entering the workforce as a software engineer, she would continue to strive to improve her rock climbing skills, and just a few weeks before July 9th, had attained her longtime goal of completing a 513A rated climb. On the morning of July 9th, 2023, Bailey and her partner set off up the lower ridge along the Blitzen Ridge route and made solid progress along the first stretch of the route, 
gaining approximately 500 feet in altitude as they did so. Upon completing the simple, lower ridge portion of the ascent, Bailey and her partner then began to make their way across the crux of the route, known as the Four Aces, four distinct, craggy outcroppings that must be circumnavigated with several sections of ascending as well as down-climbing sections to be maneuvered through as well. As Bailey and her partner were making their way across the four aces section of the ascent, Bailey slipped and lost her grip, careening down a near-vertical 500-foot drop to her death. Upon witnessing Bailey's sudden and shocking fall, her partner immediately informed authorities of the events that had just taken place with his cell phone. Furthermore, having just witnessed her death on the same section of the route that he was presently on, Bailey's partner began to panic, and he subsequently froze in place on the ridge. Rescue teams responded to his call and airlifted Bailey's partner from off of the ridge later that evening. However, as daylight was waning by this point, the recovery of Bailey's body would be postponed until the following morning. On July 10th, several search teams were dispatched on foot to locate Bailey's remains, which they quickly located and evacuated from the area via a helicopter long line. Following her death, there have been several speculations as to what had caused the experienced and athletic Bailey to fall to her death. As a fellow member of her scrambling club, Satan's Minions, described of her attempt at the route, quote, She wasn't trying to be a daredevil. This climb was quite an easy climb. Later, further reiterating, quote, Her ability far exceeded what was needed to climb the route she was doing. The terrain where she fell was not highly technical, he said. There has been further speculation within the community that perhaps she may have been moving quickly and had gone off route onto one of the more difficult rated 5-7 sections, which, for reference, is considered to be about the line where an ascent goes from being considered scrambling to easy rock climbing. It is also likely that if she was moving at a quicker pace, she could have perhaps misjudged the sturdiness of her footing or a handhold on one of the many loose rocky outcroppings that line the four aces section of the route, or could have simply just have lost her grip momentarily and fell to her death. The exact details of her death will likely remain unknown to the public, as her partner during that fateful ascent has remained anonymous throughout the ordeal, and it is unclear if he directly witnessed her slip and subsequent fall, or if he had simply witnessed the fall alone. Bailey Mulholland's death has been mourned by many of her friends and family alike, as she is remembered as a bright, ambitious, driven, and friendly young woman who was a gifted programmer, violinist, distance runner, scrambler, and rock climber. As one friend recounted of their time spent with Bailey following the news of her death, quote, Bailey had the optimism, confidence, and energy of youth. A stripe of a red paintbrush flaming across a meadow after a summer rain. She had more than enough talent to pursue, regularly humbling others at the crag, speeding past on the trails, or even baking sweets to share at the trailhead, they said. Her death has also served as a bleak reminder to the local scrambling community that their beloved pastime does indeed carry its inherent, sometimes lethal, risks. As a member of Satan's minions would matter-of-factly state following her death, quote, When something like this happens, it makes everyone take a look and realize the risks never go to zero, he said.
thank you all for watching.